Hi guys, Driver Lady Pro here. I got some news. This is going to be all about Lyft. I'm going to start out with the first thing um, that I'm reporting on is that yesterday, or not yesterday, that earlier uh, this month I reported that NBC News in Los Angeles uh, aired in a report that the drivers for Lyft in Los Angeles are being ripped off. Um, they did a report about it, and um, NBC News followed up and did their own, like, quote-unquote sting and found out, yes, they are ripping the drivers off. Now, I would have thought that maybe the other right the other that it was just in Los Angeles. No, it wasn't going on over here, but I, I thought to myself, maybe I should check and see if it's going on here. And if Lyft is getting caught and is getting sued for this, <clears throat> and they do not have a clause like Uber's, well, we can charge whatever we want, you'd think they'd stop. But um, I don't think they've stopped. In fact, I'm sure they haven't stopped. I got... um evidence showing that they haven't stopped so let me talk about this on january 14th i took it in my hands to check on this and at 7 37 at night i uh, i took a ride the passenger sent me a screenshot of how much he paid he paid 29 dollars and 70 cents i got paid only 17 dollars and 83 cents that is that is not how much I should have gotten paid. Um, I should have gotten paid $22.27. There doesn't seem to be a rhyme or a reason um, to their charging, whatever, charging different prices. Um, I had another passenger that wanted to help me out, and um, they charged me... They their her fare was twenty six dollars. I don't have the screenshot because she she told me how much she ch paid, but then um but then she didn't give me the screenshot, so I didn't include this. But she got char she got charged twenty six dollars for the fare, and they charged they gave me eighteen dollars and eighty six cents or something like that. Um, so I didn't include that in there, but I thought I'd mention that this, this isn't just these two incidences. This is another time, uh, where a passenger, it was on, uh, I think January 12th and the, um, passenger got charged $13 and 64 cents and I got paid $8 and 32 cents. Uh, 25% out of $8.30, out of $13.64 is $10.23. So, uh, yes, yes, definitely rip, Lyft is ripping you off. Um, it would be nice if I could get some other people to send in their, um, their evidence. Maybe they can get screenshots from their, um, passengers, um, Right now, Lyft is being sued by Los Angeles. That does include everybody else. Um, in order for you to get that money back that Lyft is taking from you, um, you, you have to go to court for it. You have to go out of court against them and prove that they're doing this. So, um, but it's not, I can't just do it alone. I can't just say, well, just little me. Um, so I'm going to challenge some people, if you are working for Lyft, and uh, you suspect you may, be, um, you may be getting ripped off, please ask your passengers to give you a screenshot. Do not give them a whole big scenario. Just say, oh, I saw this article, and I, I was wondering. Okay, don't, don't over-explain. And... Um, so this is the other story. Um, I when I turned on the app, um, it says on the app now. Now Lyft is gonna do just like Uber, and it's gonna allow the people to um, rate 
the passengers. Allow the drivers to rate the passengers. You know what? Um, it always has been known, and I'm going to say this now in case you don't know, if you had a passenger that was crappy, you need to write, lift right away and tell them your story about what happened. Because if you just let that go, um, they will deactivate you. Because they will just take just the passenger's word for it. But if you tell them right away, oh, oh, that person did this or did that, and it was a bad ride... Then they will listen to both sides of the story and, you know, you, you will be heard. But if you don't, if you don't say nothing, then you, there was, there was no, nothing that you have to say. Other thing, other thing, Lyft, and this is something that's been long in coming, um, Tons of Uber and Lyft drivers let people get in their car with children they put their jobs at risk. They risk getting tickets. They, In fact, I think, I'm not sure, but if you do not have a car seat for a child and the child gets killed, oh, uh, that's, that's manslaughter. That's, that's involuntary manslaughter. You know, so when you are allowing a child to ride in your car and you are not being responsible and putting a car seat in your car... And if they end up dying, which they they probably will if you get in a major accident, they will, they'll get thrown through the windshield. Bam. You're liable. You are liable. Lyft's insurance won't cover you. Your insurance probably won't cover you. And you will go to prison for involuntary manslaughter. So... Every time I go to pick up children, I say, no, I'm a professional driver. I am a private contractor. I can refuse the ride. You cannot get in my car. And they say, they always say, but Uber and Lyft, other Uber and Lyft drivers do it all the time. That's because y'all, um, and I'm not saying specific you, but there's a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers that do not care. They'll just let. They just want to make that five or ten dollars, but it's not worth five or ten dollars, a five or ten, or even a twenty dollar fare for you to go to prison for involuntary manslaughter because you didn't put a car seat in your car. So I am with this. I am very glad that um, Lyft has decided to come out, and you know, I I really hope that Uber does this too. They really need to do this, and they really need to l let the customers know. We all the customers, we should not be. They need to be letting the customers, you need to buckle up and you need to buckle up your children. You need to ask customers, please buckle up and please buckle up your children. People get in and out of your car quickly, but they need to buckle up. Okay. This is the other thing about Lyft. I took a Lyft line the other day and it previously Lyft line was paying each. Each passenger that got in the car, um, you got the full amount. So it was working out good because if I got three passengers in the car, you know, I get the full fare for each, per each person that was in my car. I think Lyft was doing that as an incentive. Now Lyft has decided, as usual, to go back to the way Uber does it and... Um, just as usual, Lyft is copying Uber or Uber copies Lyft, but they do not even listen to the drivers. Um, so bottom line, um, I do not drive Lyft line no more now that they're doing that. Um, and I do not drive Uber pool. I'm sorry. Um, maybe if it's seriously dead and here's my trick. I know some people like taking Lyft line or Uber pool because they get the extra person and then, and then they get that. It, it's a longer ride, but okay, here's this. Here is this thing. There have been many times where I took three or four passengers, kept dropping people off, and I, I, got, I got crap. Crap pay. So... I, I'm sorry, I'm unless unless you pay me um, more of a pickup fee, 
And Lyft is, isn't even paying a pickup fee. Unless you pay me more of a pickup fee, I'm not, I'm not doing Lyft Line or Uber Pool. That's the way I am. I do, maybe if, if there's barely any customers. And I've said this before. I've said this. No Lyft Line, no Uber Pool, definitely no Uber Eats in the city. Uh, you you can't can't fix those problems. I'm not doing it. That's just the way. That's a, and I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, you know, for me myself, I have to look out for me, and I don't make enough to do all that. So, anyway, tell me what you think. Maybe maybe you make tons of money taking Uber Pool. I doubt it. Maybe. You think that Lyft should copy Uber and give us the whopping 50 cents. I, I don't, the 50 cents, I'm not, I, I don't care. Uh, 50, they can give us three or four dollars per customer. Yeah. Yeah. If they start adding like three or four dollars per customer, sure, I'll pick up, do Uber pool, you know, and Lyft line. All right. So tell me what you think. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe.